Continuing down. Hello and welcome to Beer and Board Games, or as it should be called tonight, Beer and RPGs. Are any of you out there heroes? Well, join us on a heroic quest as we go to Dungeon World. And your eyes look so weird. Aaron you, told me that I needed to dress up like a wizard. You then, look like a juggalo. That's really, really insulting. Well, I'm sorry, your face is insulting me right now. <laughs> uh, do you want, you want some Fago in this? Is that what you'd like? <laughs> this game reminds me of uh, Dungeons and Dragons back before I knew the rules. It's all about just creating a cool storyline, a narrative. Um, by just talking. There's okay, no... well, if I can interrupt this blathering for a little bit, I do want to send Few Horbe to get our first beer. Oh, yes, please. As a gesture, you've had me on the show a few times, and I, I really enjoyed myself. I would like to present you with a gift. It's a beer that I brought. It is the Bilbo Baggins Black IPA. From one barrel right here in town? From, from one barrel brewing company, yeah. Oh, wow. man. This beer was brought to us by none other than Hot David. Thank, Thank you, David. You. Learn more about Hot Thanks. David at hotdavid.biz. No, don't go there. <laughs> Seriously, I, I went there. Do not go there. Bilbo Baggins. So is it going to taste like hairy uh, hobbit feet? No, it actually tastes like a decent IPA. Really? Yeah. So like hobbit's feet. This tastes really earthy. Like an... Like a hobbit hole. Yeah, like... Not a nasty hole full of wet things. Or a dry hole with nothing but sand. It tastes like a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. Well, I think mm. it's beautiful. I really like it. A little bit of charcoal in there. Cocoa nibs? I think so. Yeah, there's some cocoa. Like, like dark chocolate? Very bitter the cocoa. The nibs. 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 It makes me want to drink it all down, put on a ring, and disappear. It makes me want to sing a hobbit song. Oh, oh do you know that? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. I'm making a hobbit song up. That's pretty much all you got to do. Oh. Ah! Rargh! I will be your guide through dangerous dark caves and across the misty mountains wide. They're wide mountains? Yeah, and tall. Mostly tall. That makes me excited to adventure in my <laughs> pants. I feel like I'm already having an adventure in my pants. I had an adventure in your pants last night. That pants. was you? <laughs> no, I went downtown and I got arrested. Good. <laughs> but, I don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Have we started playing the game no, yet? No, we haven't. We are playing this game because Kenneth Roundtree went to subable.com slash beer and board games. Oh, and this is not the first episode that Kenneth Roundtree has sponsored. No. So let me tell you folks, sponsoring an episode is something you just want to do again and again, and you can do it at subbable.com. We will never forget Kenneth Roundtree and his excellent taste in games. And the sacrifices he made for this country. And for Canada. Like a goat or a child? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you already got the hat knocked off. Holy shit, that was quick. Get I your can't... fucking hat back on. I can't... I don't... Dungeon World takes place in uh, the magical world of Odella. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some characters. David, what class did you pick? I'm a wizard. And what do wizards do? Magic. He doesn't know. He's never played a role-playing game. Well, I can assume <laughs> that they do magic. What is your class? I'm a barbarian. Uh-huh. From the hills and uh, large areas. Odella. Odella. Barbarians have tormented and haunted eyes, long shanks, strange tattoos, and weather-inappropriate clothes. And since it's very warm outside, he is wearing a parka. And shank length boots. Yes. My whole tribe, their thing was that they carried uh, bags around, giant leather bags full of things. Was okay. your entire tribe wiped out by Thulsa Doom? Conan the Barbarian? Come on, anybody? My name's gonna be Seriously, Thulsa Doom. Conan the Barbarian. Someday you'll make a reference that we all get. My father was the leader of the tribe, um, but he really pissed me off, and so I decided to leave the tribe. My name is the Glorious Sack. My eyes have no whites. They're all one color and it's like a deep blue. And uh, when you look into them, you see everything that you've done for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Keep talking about That's, Those are my eyes. I literally have not listened to anything you just said. <laughs> well, just look into his eyes and I, I, I was, I was busy <laughs> choosing my body type. Yeah? I have a fit, bulky body. <laughs> Creshaw. My name is Cranth Cranther. I'm Cranther. Cranther? Cresher or Cranther? Cranther. Your name should be Kesha. 
I am a paladin. My name is Sir Eugene. I have fiery eyes and a helmet. I can lay on hands like a damn cleric. I got armored like a damn fighter, and I am the law, like Judge Motherfucking Dread. Boom. Paladin. Damn, son. Get up in this and get some. I will rain down on you like a beast from above. But we're pals. I don't have a lot of friends, and I, I didn't, growing up, I don't know how to treat my friends. Well, so. get it together, Kesha. <laughs> Kershaw. Whatever. <laughs> well, I don't even know what your name is. I'm so. Sir Eugene. He's right. Bumble Flatch. Sack. No, I'm the Glorious yeah. Sack. Oh, the Glorious Sack. Here to That's prove right. myself and make a name for myself. You guys won't be so smarty pants when you're burning in the dormations. Tormation. Torm. Fucking hell. Okay. What is in this beer? Oh, and fucking hell. Yeah, that makes sense. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> my highest attribute is charisma, and my lowest is intelligence. I'm pretty and dumb. What, are the, what would a bag of books be good for? Lore? I highly recommend a bag of books for traveling. You good. just recommend a bag. <laughs> well, mainly the bag. So you could take the books out. Why isn't your beer open yet, you piece of shit? You piece of shit. You piece of shit. Why isn't your beer open, you stupid piece of shit? Wow, it's very atonal at the end. <laughs> it's open now. <laughs> We're ready to start the adventure. Dragon Wait, World. Dungeon, dungeon World. Ritual thing. What dungeon dungeon World. Dungeon World. Um, if you ever feel like casting a spell as a ritual, then blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dungeon World. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> the village elder has hired this group of adventurers yeah. to stop the dragon, Drakiris Basak, from taking massive dumps all over the land. Okay. We will do it. I do vow. We will not live under the fear of this dragon any longer! The village elder has sent... Florgan. Florgan, the tracker, to help you find this dragon. You three are standing in front of the entrance to the dragon's lair. The earth is scorched in a huge circle around the portal, which is shaped like a dragon's head. There are charred corpses impaled on spikes, warning intruders that painful death awaits them. What do you do? I'm gonna cast a spell so we don't have to go in. But you're not gonna cast a spell right now. What are you talking about? That's what I just fucking asked. I'm when a barbarian and I know you shouldn't cast a spell. We haven't even found anything. Well, we're just gonna give him a little warning shot. Why would you want to warn him? Why does your voice sound like that? This is how I speak. I can't stand the sound of you, and I'm not going in a cave where it's going to be amplified. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you have no choice. One thing, if we go into his cave, and he's not in here, he's out crapping, and then he arrives while we're in the cave, we are trapped. We must battle him. What are you? Paladin. The what? Paladin. Come along, Kesha. Kershaw. We must seek glory. I will go first, the glorious sack. The party of adventurers enters into the dragon's mouth. So what I have done is I've made a stack of random encounters that are going to happen in this dungeon. And I would like one of you guys to pick the first one. Ooh, can I pick? After you Fuck off. Your intelligence don't be, is so Don't be low. mean to me anymore. I'm not being mean to you. Yeah, you you are. said you have no intelligence. <laughs> you said it. I said I have low intelligence. <laughs> I don't want to sit here all night and have you just be like, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think what you just said is the dumbest thing that's ever been said. <laughs> if that's, that's not what, what That's you, what I think. If that's not what you wanted, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you shouldn't have had me on the show. What feels like hours stumbling through the dank, dark corridors, you finally come across a grand set of doors. Mm. It says, the impossible library. I push open the doors. Excellent. Bolt late. You walk into a room filled with massive bookshelves spanning an impossible distance. Now I wish I could read. The only thing on the desk is a small sign that reads, Shh, silence is golden. What kind of dragon's cave is this? I bet when you talk, something bad happens. You think? Yes, and we've already done it four times. Are we in the library? I don't know. Proper? What books options do you I have? You have the choice between a large tome bound in human flesh, what? a small pamphlet, and a large tome bound in pony flesh. Pony flesh? Ow. 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 He does this sometimes. Ow. 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 Ow.
Can I, <laughs> can I use telepathy to grow him? I'm going to grab the dictionary and the book that's bound in human flesh. In the dictionary, I need to look up a couple of words. Word. Human and flesh. <laughs> <laughs> was, oh, is that what that means? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a six means is it's a failure. You learn absolutely nothing from these books. Ow. A seven or higher is a success. Ow. 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 I look at the books and I think what he's singing. <laughs> nice try, Sack. What about you, Kesha? Would you like to read one of the mysterious tones? My name is Kesha. This morning, I saw you brushing your teeth with a bottle of Jack. Yeah. You I were... saw you doing it. What does that have to do with anything? Let's roll the damn dice, Kesha. I'm trying. All right. Eight. Eight. I would like to look at books too. Okay. <gasps> wow. Whoa. wow. You just happened to come across the picture book of Azathor. Oh. You both get wow. the following boons. You gain one use of any level one wizard spell. And I got nothing? You got jack shit. Darn. 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 <laughs> Darn. Darn. That is the Dare. sound of failure. <laughs> I will tell you the results of your loudness in the library. Especially you for screaming earlier. You screamed. I'm a wizard. Oh, uh, I also made a lot of pony noises. You did make a lot of pony noises. That's what got him. That... The fucking librarian heard you. Uh -oh. There's a librarian in a yeah. dragon's cave? Yep. Ah. Yep. The books fly out of your hands and retreat into the bookshelves. And you hear a loud kaboom. This is some Harry Potter shit happening right now. Yo. Down from the ceiling descends a ghostly figure. She looks like a woman in her nearly late 40s. Nearly dead Nick. Oh, what? Nearly dead Nick. <laughs> yeah, nearly dead Nick from not Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Notter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a g g g g a g g g go fear not. <laughs> and she yells, quiet down in the Fucking library! And then comes flying at you. I want to see you dance, baby. <laughs> Clap that together, baby. She is kind of wide down in there. Oh, She's man. Got all kinds of junk. Heavy load. Back it up. <laughs> Don't you turn around. I've seen your face. Let me see your ass. <laughs> all right, you need to make an avoiding danger roll. Not bad. You managed to duck out of the way. But drop your bag of books. Am I anywhere close to his bag? No. Because I'll pick it up in a second. You're right next yeah. to my bag. <laughs> Why don't you move your face? I want that bag. bag. I want that bag. Did I get his sack? Yes, you All right, did. I put it in my sack. OK. Because he wasn't going to use those books anyway, or the sack. Actually, I dumped the books out. Oh, that's mean. You're an idiot. Wow. And that's a fact. Wow. So maybe you don't see what my plan is. There he goes again. He's over there sad sacking. You guys are so mean to each other. I'm this not mean. I wasn't a typical mean. role playing game. I wasn't mean. I wasn't mean. It's a fucking fact. You're an idiot. <laughs> you wrote it on your own paper. You wrote it on your paper. <laughs> Describe what you did to the ghost. I fired a magic missile at the ghost, disarming her rage against us. She's now got the hots and she's going to do that booty clap. She's gonna give it to us. What's a booty clap? That's where you turn around, you make the booty go clap. Flap, 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 you make flap. It, how's that different than twerking? Okay. Well, twerking, it goes up and down. You need to have a very large posture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which Ooh. this ghost does. You have Shizzle. to have enough booty that an anaconda might want some. Okay, so is the, is the ghost going clap? The ghost is going clap. Wow! Nice job, wizard. All right, we run to the next room. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, 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 ow.